So, I have this idea. Let me, let me show you. Uh. Hmm. I think that has a serious lack of jet engines. You think of what I'm thinking? Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. Just, uh, just picked up the new whip, uh, check it out. You guys know in the past I've done uh, a couple of the jet engine projects. All been really fun, uh, but it's summer again, and uh, I think it's time to uh, have a little bit more fun. So we got this three-wheel bike. I, so I think one engine here and one engine here. Maybe a couple more in the future to make it go even faster. In the past I haven't been able to take full advantage of the jet engines because everything I've done so far has always been really unstable. I think this is gonna be one of the best ones yet. Plus in the future we might even be able to make this fly. Break out the old paraglider, hook it up to this, mm-hmm. Let's get to work. Update on how the project's going. We've got uh, the mounting piece for the uh, for the jet engines. One will go there, and one will go there. If that wasn't obvious. So uh, for the batteries, I made this little mounting bracket thing. Um, this will like pretty much just slot onto one of the uh, the pieces on the bike, and uh, on top of it, like that, the batteries will sit right up here. Four for six S lipo batteries, making it twelve S, making twenty four S, twelve twenty four cells total. So yeah, this is what we need to run it and uh, it'll pretty much just sit on top of this like that. Let's try and make it a little bit more sturdy. I'll just slap that on there and um, it should be good. So I've got a lot of it wired up right now. Um, got the batteries right here. Let's go ahead and test them out on this jet engine. Two of these batteries control one, two of them control the other. So let's just hook up one to one. Just hear it turn on. We've got the remote right here. So when we turn this remote on, it should turn on that jet engine. <laughs> Feeling some wind. I don't know how to best showcase the wind coming off this. Maybe with this tape. Yep, it works. Tape on the soldering iron. Uh, smells horrible. Uh, perfect. Back to work. <laughs> All 
four batteries charged and ready to go. And we've got all the proper connectors attached to the board here. So let's go slap this thing onto the bike and test it out. Got the motors mounted, got the batteries in as well. And I wired up the controller to the handle right here. Um, just kind of crudely attached it at the moment, just this being a prototype. Um, and I wanna test it out a little bit before I actually do anything serious. So far, everything fit together well, so that's nice. The only thing left to do is uh, go take this thing out for a rip. Recording? All right. I have to flip the on switch. All right. It's recording, so I don't know how much of that I got, but the this thing just blew the, uh, the whole camera over. Turns out it's more powerful than I thought, but first test went pretty well. We're currently in pedal mode right now. Um, I'm gonna go see if I can find like a very long road that's hopefully, ideally no cars, you know, that, that's pretty helpful, I guess. This thing has a high top speed. If you don't know the difference between EDFs and like the propeller fans, these have a higher top speed, but they take a while to get there. But that was one of the most fun things I've ever made, I think. Just a three-wheeled jet bike, like, oh my god. Now, of course, we gotta give this thing a uh, paint job. So I ended up kind of going with this uh, modern theme, just like a bunch of lines. Just used a sheet of cardboard to kind of get some of those lines. I think it looks pretty cool, and I definitely didn't do it just because I uh, ran out of paint. But nevertheless, the jet bike I think is looking pretty sweet. No joke, actually, though, this barn gives me the creeps. Yeah, I'm gonna get the f out of here. <clears throat> also, it's currently night, and uh, we've got one light, so uh, you know what that means. Calling all bugs everywhere. Don't be shy. Step right up. Feel free to fly around my face, fly around the camera. Yup, you, you, you in the back there. You with the too many legs to count. Everyone come scare me while I'm trying to concentrate. What are the chances this goes well? Yeah. Might as well send it. So I'm gonna keep the glasses on. I don't know how much of that I got, but pretty much here's what happened. So me and my friend were testing out the jet engines, right? We're buzzing up and down. It's like a residential neighborhood. And these things are loud. So of course it's gonna attract some attention. So we moved to this field by my house and then the cops roll up. The cops are here. They're like at the edge of the field, just like watching us, right? So we don't know if we're supposed to go over there. Uh, so eventually we just casually like kind of push the bike over there, um, say hi. And the cop, she's like, yeah, we're just checking everything out, making sure it's okay. But she said, as long as we're not tearing up the field, you're totally fine. I was like, wow, that's really nice. Um, then we got to talking. She asked like how big the motors were and stuff. And obviously because they're like fans, I have no idea to put that in terms of like CCs. Maybe you guys do. But on the fly, I was like, uh, no idea how to answer this question. And she asked uh, about how fast I thought this bike could go. And she was like, why don't we put it in front of the radar gun? So in this parking lot, I like go around and I gun it back towards the cop. He's in the car radaring me. And my buddy's also in the cop car filming.
I only had one engine at that point. One of the motors came loose. You might have saw in some of the clips that one of the engines wasn't moving. And also as a parking lot. I don't want to make excuses. On the road, we clocked in at close to 30, I'd say. Or again, we ran out of road. Like, these things are powerful. I still haven't hit top speed. <laughs> but point of the story is, cop was completely chill. Uh, we ended up taking a picture together. Legendary pic. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that. Instagram.com slash jlazervideo. Also, link in the description. If you want to help out this channel, you can get a couple of t-shirts, long sleeves, hoodies, whatever. Or not. If, you know, I really don't care. I do care. Please get them. I don't care. And of course, subscribe and like this video. All right, guys. That's pretty much it for me for this one. Really happy I did it. I like when I can have fun with the projects too. Like something like I can ride. I hope to do more of that. To bring you guys like more quality videos in the future. Like every single video, I'm going to try and do something different. Whether it be like the filming style or a different type of project. I don't know. I just feel like that's how I get the most creative stuff. So uh, take it easy and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.